Hey, welcome back to another episode of Video Production for Creatives. I'm Alex Kenner, and today we're gonna to talk about the Ursa Mini 4K. And this is one of my favorite cameras that I like to use. It's a pretty versatile ENG style camera, and it has a lot of features that usually you get with other more high-end cameras. But today we're gonna to talk about uh, more details and, and things that I find useful when I work with the camera. So let's take a look. All right, welcome back. So let's take a look at this Ursa Mini 4K tripod setup. So we've got it all rigged up with different accessories and mounts and systems. So I wanna go into detail more about what I find useful about it and things that you could probably find useful as well. So let's dive right in. So, you know, I use this for a lot of corporate work and commercials. It's really heavy duty, you know? Durability wise, it's great. This is the, the Ursa Mini 4K. So it's not the G2, but it does have no rolling shutter. So it's a great studio camera. If you've got plenty of lighting and a lot of control over your lighting, then it's a really, really good looking camera. It's not the best low light camera, that's for sure but like I said if you've got plenty of lighting or then you can really push it and uh, get some really great images out of this thing I've also got the Foga follow focus and it's really good I mean I've tried other follow focuses that are not like the super super high-end which I do use on more high-end productions but for just like everyday use this is a really good one. It's it's the more high-end one that Foga has. And I can't stress enough how, how much better quality that is than a lot of other more inexpensive follow focuses. And little bird carts. So we've got a Sennheiser shotgun mic right here. Small rig shoulder. Really comfy. I'd say this one's probably more comfy than the Pro Aim one over there that I have it's on the pocket. This one just fits on straight back. So it's it's great for like an ENG setup. That's what this is. It's an ENG style camera. So, you know, you don't have to mount all these kind of accessories and stuff to it normally to get a, a more modular camera to ENG standards, but it's all built in. You know, you got the XLRs on top built in. You got the HD SDI on the other side. I'll get to it here in a second. So we've got a, uh, a Benro S8, uh, and this, you know, it's it's funny enough. It's on it's on Manfrotto sticks, but I've got a Benro head on top. And so this Benro head, it just supports the Ursa weight a lot better than the 502. So I just moved the 502 head over to the the pocket just for stability reasons. And it just handles the weight so much better when you're panning and tilting. So I really love this Benro S8 head. So here's the HDSDIs that come built into the Ursa. And then I've got a small rig plate here in case you want to mount anything else. The, the handles back there are small rig as well. And this little rosette right here, it's actually part of the shoulder for the Pro Aim shoulder rig on the pocket right now. I didn't want to extend it too far out and it came in handy. So here's a Lampart parts. And then I've got a D-tap splitter right here so I can hook up more accessories to all this, uh, to the battery supply. I believe the light is photodiode. You can hook up, you know, to the cable or the battery. A 120 LED uh, by color. So here's the other color temperature here. We've got the tungsten and then just the you know daylight. 
All right, and that's a wrap for today. So thanks for watching. Hit like, share, comment, and let me know what you thought. Also, keep an eye out because there's other videos coming out with other tripod setups, camera setups, gimbal setups, and I'm gonna be sharing with you some video production, motivational tips, and what I do to stay productive in this business. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.